Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From BBC under the main headline of Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe and Anusha Ashori arrive in UK. After being freed from Iran. Summary of headline article. He said Gabriella had picked out which toys to show her mother when the plane landed. And that one of the first things he would do was make his wife a cup of tea. From the Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war latest. One dead in Kyiv missile strike. Kremlin anger after Biden calls Putin a war criminal a euro. Live. Summary of headline article. Five o'clock Joe Biden has denounced Vladimir Putin as a war criminal. Delivering his sharpest rebuke yet of the Russian leader just hours after the Ukrainian president. Pleaded with Congress to provide more aid to his country. I think he is a war criminal, Biden said of Putin on Wednesday. The president's comment marked a distinct rhetorical shift for the White House. Which had deflected previous questions about whether Putin should be considered a war criminal for the Russian military's attacks on Ukrainian civilians. Play video 026 Joe Biden calls Vladimir Putin a war criminal. Video. There is a process. And we have stood up a process internally. An internal team. To assess and look at and evaluate. Evidence of what we're seeing happen on the ground. The White House press secretary. Jen Psaki. Said earlier this month. The Kremlin spokesman. Dmitry Peskov said Biden's comments were unacceptable and unforgivable rhetoric, according to Russia's state-owned TASS news agency. From Sky News under the main headline of Ukraine war, Mariupol theater sheltering civilians and children bombed at dawn a euro, death toll unknown. Summary of headline article. Russian aircraft purposefully dropped a huge bomb on the drama theater in the city center, said. President Zelensky in his nightly address. Please use Chrome browser for a more accessible video player 322 Mariupol Hospital and image of. Hell this follows reports that Russia is struggling with resources and morale. Biden labels Putin war criminal Russia denies deliberately targeting civilians. But such cases appear to have fueled President Biden's incendiary assertion that Vladimir Putin is a war criminal. Please use Chrome browser for a more accessible video player 325 Ukraine war. Five things that happened on day 21 relentless strikes also pounded the second biggest city of Kharkiv. In the northeast. Kidnapped mayor freed in Melitopol A mayor kidnapped five days ago has also now been freed. President Zelensky said. From BBC under the main headline of Boris Johnson still faces energy questions after Saudi trip. Summary of headline article. Much of the heavy lifting is done before the bosses arrive. To prepare possible areas of agreement and the language of political meetings. The bilats. The tours de table. The communiques, or in other words, a meeting of two people. Pre arranged filming of a group of leaders sitting down. And the final agreement on paper. From The Guardian under the main headline of Powerful Japan Earthquake Strikes Off Coast of Fukushima. Killing 4. Summary of headline article. A powerful 7.4 magnitude earthquake struck off the coast of Fukushima in northern Japan on Wednesday evening, leaving four dead, and plunging more than two meters homes in the Tokyo area into darkness. The Japan Meteorological Agency later lifted its low-risk tsunami advisory issued along the coasts of Fukushima and Miyagi early Thursday. The Japan Meteorological Agency said the quake hit at 11.36 p.m. at a depth of 60 kilometers, 36 miles, below the sea. 
the quake shook large parts of eastern Japan, including Tokyo, where buildings swayed violently. A Tohoku Shinkansen express train partially derailed between Fukushima and Miyagi due to the quake. But nobody was injured, Kishida said. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of scorching 18 sea temperatures could bring hottest day of the year for UK so far. Summary of headline article. The Met Office has said that the hottest day so far in 2022 was 17.2 C in Pershore, Worcestershire. We're looking at temperatures of up to 16, 17, and perhaps even a rounded 18 C could be possible. Tonight, rather cloudy across parts of England and Wales, with fog patches forming over parts of Wales and the Midlands in particular later. Friday. A chilly start with early fog patches over England and Wales soon clearing leaving a fine day with plenty of pleasantly warm sunshine for most. Turning windier in the north outlook for Saturday to Monday. Mostly settled. Dry and sunny. With some early frost and mist. Fog patches but warm by day. From The Guardian under the main headline of UK ministers under pressure to ease impact of cost of living crisis. Summary of headline article. Ministers are coming under growing pressure to intervene to soften the impact of the cost of living crisis amid fresh warnings that millions of low-income households risk sliding into further debt, hunger and poverty. The cost of living crisis has really taken over from the COVID crisis is a real catastrophe for people. What you can see from the polling is that the cost of living crisis is by far the biggest priority for people, Brown said. All those struggling, including families affected by the benefit cap, must feel the impact, the letter said. Its survey found that 33% of universal credit claimants surveyed had gone at least one day in the past month either without eating or restricting themselves to a single meal. From Metro under the main headline of Anusha Ashuri's family waiting with cake and beer. Summary of headline article. Cake. Beer and champagne. A reunion 1,672 days in the making. Picture. Sky News. PA. Reuters. The family of Anusha Ashori say they can finally rebuild after news of his release. Mr. Ashori was flown back to the UK alongside fellow British Iranian national Nazanin. Zaghari Ratcliffe. Years of anguish followed for Mr. Ashori in Iran and for relatives back home in the UK. In January. Mr. Ashori began a hunger strike, in the hope of bringing global attention to those held in Iranian prisons. On two occasions, the weary Mr. Ashori attempted to take his own life due to such low morale. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Tories agree UK is no longer rigged against ethnic minorities in new strategy. Summary of headline article. On Wednesday night, the Tories published its Inclusion Britain strategy containing 70 actions to tackle racial disparities. Government says institutional racism does not exist in UK. A year after race report the government agrees with the controversial race reviews finding that institutional racism does not exist in the UK. It has emerged in a new strategy published this evening. The causes behind racial disparities are complex and often misunderstood. The Race Report Commission was ordered by Number 10 in the wake of Black Lives Matter protests triggered across the world after George Floyd's horrific death. As the race review was published, Dr. Sewell said that although there was anecdotal evidence of racism in the UK, the use of the term institutional racism needed to be reviewed. From Sky News under the main headline of Online Safety Bill. Updated proposals will make UK safest place to go online. 
Government says. Summary of headline article. The online safety bill has been in the works for about five years and will see communications. Regulator Ofcom get the power to issue fines or block sites that break the rules. The biggest social media firms must also address legal but harmful content under the updated proposals. Other changes to the online safety bill include a requirement to report child sexual abuse to the National Crime Agency. Given all the risks online, it's only sensible we ensure similar basic protections for the digital age. I'm very glad to see that the government has adopted so many of our recommendations. Ensuring we really will make the UK the safest place to be online in the world. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.